Yeah. I liked that one. I thought that was a good one. That's awesome. Yeah, heck yeah. Well, welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the Kilted Balls podcast. Hopefully, you're all having a great night. Yes, yes, and hopefully you made it through the last one. Although I heard it wasn't too bad. Nice, nice. I I didn't. I mean, you know, when I listened to it, I, I was doing some other things. I didn't notice, but you know, and and another friend of ours said that he didn't really when he noticed it. It was like because we had made a comment about it. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, and I had people, um, like actually talk to me about the episode. I can't remember right now what they asked or what they talked about yeah so i think i'm losing my mind slowly but uh yeah over eastern stuff people are asking me questions and i'm like hey and they're like oh yeah you talked about that in your episode and i'm like i did like and i can't remember now <laughs> what it was and they're like oh yeah i listened to all your episodes i'm all like caught up and i'm like oh wow and then like one of my kiddos was like oh yeah i listen all the time and i was like oh sweet i know that's, that's super great. awesome thank you everybody yeah, thank you, listeners. <laughs> Makes me super happy. Um, but yeah, otherwise I'm like, I didn't. I don't remember what they were saying to me. Too bad. But it was well, about something we had talked about. So. I did get one comment. Someone was asking where I sat in the woods. Um, he is four, so it's a valid <laughs> question when he sees me up on the TV. And he's like, "Where were you sitting in the woods?" At? <laughs> <laughs> and why were you? <laughs> Close last awesome. time we had a bad internet mm. connection because we were yeah. I was in Tennessee pigeon forward. Mm-hmm. Hopefully now we have a better connection in a messy office. And uh Pigeon Forge was awesome. Nice. And did one of the Alpine coasters. It's the third time I've done one. And it was a really good time, the one in Pigeon Forge. So one of our okay. friends suggested one outside of Gatlinburg, but I wasn't necessarily sure how to get to it. So there was one in Pigeon Forge and it was great. Yeah. The one in Gatlinburg is a little bit funky to get to, especially if you're on the trolley. Yeah, like it was what, Oberon Mountain or Oberon Mountain mm-hmm. or something? Or... Oh, there's that one. I was thinking the, that, okay, I was thinking there was one more closer to the timeshare, but you have to go up the mountain a little bit. The Oberon Mountain is easy to get to. You had to walk right by it. It was the ski lift that you oh, walked okay, by. Okay, well, we went to Pigeon Forge. It was like a mile down the road, and we walked mm-hmm. to it from our campground. Um, nice. By the way, the campground... So we stayed at a um, KOA, which we don't normally do. It's probably the first time in 20 years Mm -hmm. that we've stayed in one. And it was actually really nice. Mm -hmm. Super expensive. I was going to say, was it still like 80 bucks a night for the KOA? 150. Oh, nice. I'm in the wrong business. (laughs) I'm like, (laughs) this is like, I mean, it wasn't 150 every night. It was like, yeah. Depending on okay. like whether it was Friday night or mm-hmm. Monday night or whatever. So like the average was probably like 120. But I'm like, man, mm-hmm. I remember when I wouldn't stay at a hotel that was this much. Yeah. Much less a place for my rig. Now we stayed there because they had a heated outdoor pool and a hot tub. So it was mm-hmm. like 38 degrees in the morning and we're out swimming. That's awesome. Like that's pretty sweet. Um, which was why we got it. And I would have paid for a hotel that had that feature, mm-hmm. right? And so that was worth it to me. It came with a patio. It was full hookup, which we nice. normally don't do full hookup. Had okay. like, one of the things that you'd appreciate was there was probably like five or six dog runs. Nice. And they were like set up with like fire hydrants and play areas. Mm-hmm. And, super long so the dogs could just run and have a good time so that was nice it had its yeah. own patio with its own patio furniture oh wow like, that's awesome it, it was very nice which it should be for like 150 bucks like we got wood for a campfire and we're like okay do we just go get it they're like nope we'll deliver it to your site yeah and they picked up the garbage from our site every day mm-hmm. like so it was very nice nice you were paying for that yeah i know i was sad especially you guys were so close i mean three and a half hours away and we just had we had a crazy weekend so well, or a week so thick and stuff yeah so yeah that started it and 
to make it even weirder, one of our really, really good friends that you and I have known since high school mm -hmm. was literally in the town next door and we didn't see him. Mm -hmm. Well, at least you saw our, another friend's brother. We did see another friend's brother. Like, we're getting the car. He's like, hey, bye. <laughs> and I'm like, hey. And so that was really cool. That's but super yeah, cool. Yeah, that was really nice. Didn't really talk to him very much. And the yeah. people in general, like, there were um, three kiddos, uh, Spanish speaking, mm -hmm. and they rode the trolley there with us and they rode the trolley there back. Mm -hmm. And like, during the wait time, they're like playing with Cal and, you know, we're just super friendly. And I'm like, that's, that's awesome. So nice. Like mm -hmm. if you're nice, people tend to be nice. Which mm -hmm. is one of the things you and I preach. Yeah. Like, that's really good. That's yeah, that's good. awesome. Yeah, we we met some, I would say they're gonna turn into to good friends. We we met some friends this weekend, which was really cool. So any past listeners know that we had a death in the family and she had a, a little boy, and he is with his biological sister is how it works out and okay. we found the 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 backstory is that he's hung out with them a lot throughout his life how old is he he is two okay yeah so um yes that you could probably guess her her dad is a little bit older than us and not in the picture yeah. But she is, uh, her and her husband, they have three other kids, a, uh, this an is, older... This is the little boy's sister. The little boy's sister. He's She's going to be mom, so, like, none of that technically matters, just to fill you and the listeners in. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, the, the father is, is older than us, and, you know, Jada just passed, and she was not, you know, right. she was in her early 20s, mid-20s, right around there, Actually, her, today's her birthday. I don't know how old she would have been. But anyways, so we met, like, we, we weren't really sure at first. And, and Gina's been talking with her quite a bit. And we had, a, we had a chance to go over there. We've hung out with them a couple times now and really good people. So it's, oh, I started to say they have an older son and then twins. And the older son is Ali's age and the twins are five. So Morgie, they, they all play well together. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and then of course, you know, Mason is just excited to to be there and everyone around. So we're we're super super happy. We're we're very much very in support of you know everything that she's done to to include him as part of her family and just you know going on from there. But it was That's funny awesome. the husband. I didn't realize that you had told me that you met these these people, but mm -hmm. I didn't realize that it was his biological sister. Not that that mm -hmm. changes things. Yeah, but I thought it was just some random. Yeah, yeah, no. It, so <laughs> the the husband was talking about he had to some time off work for you know for different like the court case, yeah. and he's like, yeah, I'm adopting my my brother in law. <laughs> nice. People are like, uh, I'm not really sure how that works. <laughs> so. Not sure at all how that works. So. But yeah, we're we're well, super we're super happy. Friends, mm -hmm. and here's something that I find interesting about humans and mm -hmm. maybe this is maybe it's just us right so we've talked before people that we're weird right mm -hmm. but you talking about making new friends didn't spur any kind of jealousy or resentment <laughs> or any of that stuff right yeah but like we both had people in our life said if you're like dating or whatever you're like oh i have another friend they get like super jealous. Yeah. <laughs> right. And that's mm -hmm. so interesting that with friends, you don't even remotely do that. And theoretically, friends are a pretty high level in your life if they're good. Yeah. Friends, yeah. Right. But it's interesting that I think maybe this is why. So this is my hypothesis. And listeners, you can correct me or Hilton, mm -hmm. you can correct me. I think it's because when you start dating somebody or you get engaged or you get married or you become partners, whatever the deal is, you feel ownership. And because you feel ownership, when they start going and seeing other people or having other activities or other friends, you feel like you're not getting that attention and it's taking away your ownership. 
where when you're good friends with people, you don't feel ownership. You feel equality, camaraderie. Does that make sense? I can see what you're saying. I have to just, I don't think that's everyone. No, that's for sure. But but the way you said it was like anybody in that next step relationship. But I don't think you get jealous when Amy gets a new friend. No, not at all. You know, right. but yeah, I mean, same could, with me. Amy could like cheat on me and I wouldn't get jealous, right? Like, mm -hmm. like, uh, cool, live your best life, I guess. I'm, yeah. What I'd be jealous of is that I wasn't getting. <laughs> I'd be like, no oh, way. <laughs> Yeah, I was I was here ready. <laughs> like if you and I were hanging out and you were like, "Yeah, I've got these other friends and we just drank all of my whiskey," I'd be like, "No, oh, mm -hmm. I wanted mm -hmm. the whiskey." Mm -hmm. Wait, that happened. That happened, mm -hmm. and I was that like, did oh, oh. "Right, mm -hmm. yeah." So that that's the exact same feelings that I think I would have. I'd be like, "Oh, mm -hmm. I wanted that." Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that's how that would go. Well, yeah, and some friends are that way too, right? Like that's the some whole premise are. of um, bridesmaids, right? Mm -hmm. like, the movie. like they get jealous of each other's friendships. Yeah. But again, similar thing, right? They got jealous because they felt ownership. Yeah. Of that friend, right? Mm -hmm. And it, again, probably the reason I wouldn't get super jealous of Amy is because I don't feel ownership of that. Yeah. Now that being said, I get super, um, what's the word? Um, like if I feel I'm missing out on time, like if I'm getting FOMO okay. about, yeah, that's something that I'll feel, right? Like if I'm like, yeah. I never get to talk to you because you're working all the time. Yeah. Like then I'm like, stupid work. Mm -hmm. But I'm not yeah. like, I'm not jealous of mm -hmm. work. I'm like actually mad at work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's funny. And, 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 you know, I don't I don't know if they'll start listening or not. But it, one thing that was really super funny to me. <clears throat> so he is ex-military. Nice. OK. And they're both from the South. Not that everyone in the South leans one way or another. But people oh, who I tend to do. be tend to be military can lean a certain way. Yes. And that, that's what they're taught because it's like, okay, this this side is good for you and this side is not good for you. You can debate it all you want. We're not here to debate that. But um, I did notice on their refrigerator, there was a, a, a Trump 2024 something. I forget the tag, but it was a, a Trump 2024 sticker. Sure. And I, I tried to look away at it, wanted to look at it. <laughs> and, then, you. and then- it was like later we were all talking and I forget how it came up, but somehow it came up and, and, and she said, she said, well, we're, we're Republicans, but we're not racist. We love everybody. And it, and it made me chuckle. Like, I don't like to give myself labels. I mean, you know, I, maybe I do here and there things that are like, like I'm a business owner, but it's not like I'm buying into that group. I, I do call myself a gamer. Yeah. But, you know, I don't say it, it was funny to me, like she said, this is this is what we are. But then she had to explain that they're not this because the many people think if you are pro Republican, pro Trump, that you are racist because because there are people in that group who are very outspoken and very racist, which was was just funny to me. Like you're associating with somebody and you're calling yourself that, but you're like, oh, wait, like I don't say, like I don't say, oh, I tend to lean left, but but I'm not gay. <laughs> or just like, well, <laughs> of course you're not. <laughs> yeah. Well, and here's, it was, the, here's it was, the weird. It was just real. It was hilarious. Here's the weird What's funny the weird? part about that. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know these people at all. Mm -hmm. I'm just assuming they're racist. <laughs> Oh. They didn't. They didn't come across as racist, and she said she loved everybody. I didn't ask her I to mean, say, "How do you feel about black people? How do you feel about gay people?" Right. Like I didn't like, go through. I just one, took her word at it. Like first off, you're a Trump supporter, so I automatically <laughs> default that you're racist if you are a Trump supporter. So like mm -hmm. the get go, they're correct to have to say that. But second, <laughs> there's a whole list of things that I feel if you have to say it then either you're not that 
or you are that. This would be one of those things. If I have mm -hmm. to tell people I'm not racist, that means I'm racist. <laughs> <laughs> like I shouldn't have to tell people that like that doesn't ever come into your brain <laughs> to say to somebody like you personally have mm -hmm. you ever like been sitting there going hey I'm not racist yeah I've never thought to tell somebody that right like that's mm -hmm. not, and it's I talk to my my kiddos about this sometimes I'm like you should never tell somebody that like say you're a leader or you're super smart that that should never be be a thing mm -hmm. because if you have to tell somebody you're in charge <laughs> then you're not in charge <laughs> right yeah like i never have that argument with cal like i never say hey cal i'm i'm the one in charge here mm -hmm. cal knows i'm in charge right? mm -hmm. he may ignore my orders right or he may ignore <laughs> yeah. whatever you say mm -hmm. But then shit hits the fan and he knows who's the boss. Yeah. Him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> he likes to think that. But it was it was funny. I, and I look forward to hanging out with him. I found out actually he plays Rocket League. Nice. And he's like, I'm not any good. I'm like, oh, you're at least a gold. He's like, uh, I'm like a platinum. I was like, oh, you're really good. You're like super good. <laughs> But he, he he plays a lot of first person shooters, which is his thing. But uh, yeah, he says that work. He plays Rocket League sometimes. So I'm well, like, and oh, you know, another example of this, not the racist mm -hmm. part, was mm -hmm. like being a gamer. Like last week, a couple of our buddies were talking about an old game we used to play, Heroes mm -hmm. of the Storm, right? Mm -hmm. And they're like, yeah. oh, so and so is so good, and so and so is mm -hmm. the best. And you're just like laughing, and I'm like, not arguing at all. I'm like, yeah, they were great. Mm -hmm. like, if I have to tell you, that I'm mm -hmm. the best in the game. I'm probably well, I think they were. I think they were just saying. I I think they were telling it as a story. But when I asked if that person was as good as you, they <laughs> did say they were not. No. Mm -hmm. Well, that's like Dave used to laugh because he they would play, and they would be like so serious about winning the game, mm -hmm. right? And our buddy Dave and I would just be giggling, laughing the entire time we're playing, mm -hmm. having a great time. Mm -hmm. And they would lose and they'd be mad mm -hmm. at the world and blah, blah, blah. And like, Dave would be like, like, could you like run that game? And I'm like, for sure. Like, like, it's like basic. <laughs> yeah. Know? And he's like, I go, but I'm having too much. Like the whole point of me playing with you guys is to have fun. Yeah. And me trying to focus on winning. Like when I was like trying to work through the am circuit, I'm like, Dota, I'm like, that's not having fun. That's, that's work mm -hmm. right like i go and i'm doing that to have fun and i go and not only am i doing it to have fun but i'm playing with people who aren't good yeah so like it doesn't make sense for me to be going stupid all out it makes sense for me to have fun yeah <laughs> which is totally different like hey i'm gonna go way 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 behind enemy lines and see how many people i can kill mm -hmm. oh i died Oops. yeah oh well oh well <laughs> I'm not That's keeping funny. stats on this game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, those are all fun things. To me. But yeah, I, I do think that's an interesting thing. And I worry about that because as we talked about on this episode, I'm running for office. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm running as a Republican and I am mildly nervous that when people hear that, mm -hmm. they're going to have an image of me. That is yeah. not a true image of me. Yes, right? I, I I can't control how people view me, so I'm like, eh, yes, that's I true. guess that's how they are. Like, yes, but but I think they're starting to be a. It, it's almost like, and then this is the last comment I'll make on it that that party is splitting to where there's people who are pro Trump and there's people who aren't, and those I think people look at the two different camps differently as well. No, and I think that's true mm -hmm. in my state, right? Like I yep. think. They're split. I think it's a very obvious split. And yeah. I think the Trumpers are trying to hold on to power. Mm -hmm. And I think the other people are scared to say that they're not. And I, and you know me, listeners, you know me. I'm not scared of that. Mm -hmm. right? So like if I went to a meeting and they're like, well, do you support Donald Trump? I'd be like, no, like never ever. <laughs> not when he was on The Apprentice, not when he was trying to be a real estate mogul. There's never been a time in my life where I have looked at that man and said, 
oh, this is the man. Like, I've laughed about him since he inherited his fortune. I've laughed at him. Mm -hmm. I laughed at how many times he went bankrupt. I laughed about his wife. I, like, literally, he's been a running joke since high school. Mm -hmm. And I'm not one of these people who is like, oh, yeah, now it's different. No, he's it's it hasn't changed for me. Yeah, I still laugh about it. It's mm -hmm. still funny to me. And other people are like, well, no, 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 I support it. Like, Good, you do. Yeah, do. yeah, like, everyone doing the thumbs. Right, I think you're dumb. Mm -hmm. I used to like watching Celebrity Apprentice. That was fun. Celebrity Apprentice was a little bit different, but mm -hmm. he was still a weirdo. Yeah, the whole and I love how Gene Simmons even called him out at the end. He's like, no, Mr. Trump, you're wrong. And he was talking about canon. The decisions that they were making were wrong. And look at now. It's funny because even like a couple of years later, like, where's canon? I mean, not that. I mean, I've always been a Gene Simmons fan. Don't get me wrong. But I mean, he, he may have been right because it seems like they didn't make great choices. Are they still even in business? Are they I, dead? I canon? don't know. I believe they are. Let me look this up real quick so I know what I'm talking about. But yeah, I used to like I used to enjoy watching that, but yeah. But even then it was a joke, right? Yep. It wasn't mm -hmm. like, oh my gosh, this is a serious thing. It was entertaining. Mm -hmm. Okay, Canon is still around. My apologies. Did you see the articles right now about how one of the things that's giving him so much power is he's trying to make it a religion and he's trying to make it, and that's why Christians are kind of flocking to him. I did see because it's illegal for churches to make donations to a, a political figure that he was selling Bibles, which is clearly money laundering. But he's selling Trump Bibles. Yes, I do. Like, sell Trump Bibles. <clears throat> That's illegal. You can't sell Trump Bibles <laughs> if you're running for office. You can't sell Bibles with your name on them if you're running for office. For real? Yeah, you can't do stuff like that. You can't have the church giving to your campaign. The church is not allowed to give to political campaigns right i would not know i would say there's probably churches that can give to political campaigns i don't think that they're allowed to i mean the catholic church gives so much money to right to life initiatives and anti-abortion but that's political campaign <clears throat> yeah i don't know there's a okay He's checking it out, people. He's checking it out. Okay, so this says, in 1954, Congress approved an amendment to prohibit organizations, 501c3 organizations, which include charities and churches, from engaging in any political campaign activity. Yeah. If so. they want to be 501c3s. Yeah. Right, so a church doesn't have to be a five hundred one, okay, three C, right? No, I have no idea. I I had seen a meme on that, and I looked it up quick, and I couldn't remember exactly what it had said. That mm -hmm. church, is, and and I, you know, the separate whole separation of church and state thing. Oh yeah, I didn't think they well, were allowed to. Our buddy Jamie complains about it all the time. He's like, they <clears> need <throat> to pull their nonprofit status. Yes, but they don't. I agree. Mm -hmm. Right, like they don't hold their nonprofit status and they campaign all the time. Right? So, like, I haven't heard of any recently getting their stuff pulled. Yeah. No. Yeah, it looks like there's all sorts of different... Okay. There's a whole bunch of, like, questions like what can cause churches to lose their tax-exempt status. Yeah. Bah, bah, bah. So they, yeah, they can't make financial contributions to a candidate, but do they get? Oh, they did. They do other things, but that's directly to the candidate. If you're buying a Trump Bible, that is directly to the candidate, in my opinion. Just like oh, if yeah. Biden had a Bible, if Biden had a Catholic Bible, he wanted to sell. Either way, well, I, mean, the fact I don't think Trump it's right. Follow the Bible. <laughs> you stop it. Like I don't think there's a, he doesn't even know what it is. Mm -hmm. So, but it's useful, right? It's it's all yep. part of the game. That's what mm -hmm. I think people yep. don't realize mm -hmm. is that all of it is a game. All of it is a game. And they're they're 
some people are thinking it's like a real thing, but it's 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 a game, and mm-hmm. you're rooting for your team right now. Mm-hmm. That's that's like just accept the fact that that's what it is, right? Like you can always tell when anybody says, and you don't have to put any names, right? Here's the funny mm-hmm. part: when anybody's like, "Well, how could you vote for somebody who clearly has dementia?" Mm-hmm. <clears throat> right. Yeah. And you're like, which candidate are you talking about? Since they both have dementia. <laughs> like, it's clear they both do. Well, uh-huh. No, mine doesn't. No, trust me, they both do. Mm-hmm. But, you know, that's like when yeah. they're like, that football coach is, mm-hmm. <laughs> what's at U of N? They're, they're stealing signs. Mm-hmm. Notice the U of M fans were like, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Right, like, sorry, we got caught. Sorry, got caught. Yeah. <clears throat> yep. Uh, just silliness. Silliness. It's funny. It's so funny. Politics, but... I know. Why can't we just all love each other? You know, that's the way to do it. Right. Well, that's the reason why. If we all loved each other, we wouldn't need that. That's true. That is very well, that's, true. That's kind of the problem. Like, if, if we did. Mm-hmm. Which, by the way, happy Easter. Happy Easter, listeners. Hope you guys had a good one. And if you're yep. with some of our non-religious, happy spring solstice. solstice. No, it's national. I thought that's National Zombie Day, right? If you're going to buy into it. It could be National Zombie Day. It's Ramadan. Happy mm-hmm. Ramadan. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of things going down right now. Happy Passover. Mm-hmm. So, like... Like many things, Catholic, we kind of adopt. Oh. Christians, we adopt so since we're, since we're talking about this stuff now, and, and this was from a listener. Oh, and great. Thank you for listening. But uh, it was it was one of our younger listeners oh. said, hey, do you know if you are part of this religion, you can wear a strainer on your head? Pastafarians. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I just... I just asked my friends to to talk to the FSM for me last week. <laughs> like I would just, and he's just like, oh, <laughs> uh, like yeah, we've been. Uh, I have a friend who's pretty close to being a Pastafarian. I mean, so. <laughs> we were we were around Pastafarians when it was created. Uh huh. Like, like we were yeah. pretty big followers. I didn't I didn't go into the whole thing, but yeah, it was hilarious. I was like, yeah, yeah that's a thing. Like you can definitely do it. <clears throat> Yeah, and they, they're like, what? Yeah, there's mm-hmm. some interesting religions out there. My favorite one that made um one of my friend's wife's super mad. I have that effect on friend's wife's. Gina never yeah. get married. <laughs> Gina so, really likes you. <laughs> <laughs> you'd, you'd hate me, but like I had a friend once and like we were talking about religion. He was like, you know, I'm an atheist, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, well, you're not. I go, mm-hmm. you're a Satanist. And he's like, um, I am not. I don't believe in any of that stuff. I'm like, right. So you're part of the Satanic Church. Mm-hmm. And they're like, I'm not part of that. I'm like, look it up sometime. I go, when you go home tonight, look up the Church of Satan and mm-hmm. see which of their beliefs you're against. Yeah. Like, I, I am not. And I'm like, go look it up. And so he did. <laughs> and he like, looked it up and he was like, holy shit, Mm -hmm. I'm part of the satanic church. And his Mm -hmm. wife is like, she's like kind of religious, like Christian. Mm -hmm. She's like, no, you cannot Mm -hmm. be part of that. He's like, "Um, I literally agree with every tenet of their faith. (laughs) Like, I preach the tenets of their faith. Uh I just didn't know that's what I was preaching. (laughs) Yeah. Like, no, you are not a satanist. You are not Mm -hmm. part of the satanic Mm -hmm. church. Yeah. "Uh, Okay. And she was like, why'd you tell him that i'm like uh i identify things it's like my job right? yeah I go, that's what i do yeah <laughs> I go, there was there was just a state recently and my friend and my friend uh eb was talking about this like they figured out some like weird little loopholes where they could do they could like do i, I can't remember what it was i want to say like in a like in nevada or something or you know over there but i don't remember the state exactly and if anyone knows pointed out but um they, they figured out some weird little loopholes where they they were gonna kind of sneak some sneak some 
some uh, ideas through. And they had yeah. like special meetings and this and that. And then someone at the special meeting was like, hey, this is awesome. Like I'm with the Church of Satan and I'm really, really excited about this because I'm looking forward to be able to do this and this and this and this yeah. when this passes. Right. And it like totally got shut down. Like, <laughs> like the people are like, is this true? Are they going to be able to do this stuff? And they're like, yeah, that's any, they're, they're organized religion. They are going to be able to do all these things just like you are going to be able to do as a Christian. They yes. have that same right. So yeah, it, it got completely shut down. Like it never went to the special election and that like that, like the states, the state Congress just like totally dropped it. Like all this, all this tomfoolery they're trying to do. So one of the things that I'm always super happy about is I think it's at Christmas time. I'm pretty sure it's at Christmas time. And mm -hmm. I did notice it the last couple of years since COVID. So I hope it hasn't gone away. But there's always a satanic church display at the Capitol mm -hmm. in Michigan. Always, always. Because they allow there to be a manger scene. Yeah. And because they allow a manger scene, the Church of Satan gets to put up their scene. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. Well, because you that's the thing, right? You can't mm -hmm. favor one religion. You can allow all religions. Mm -hmm. Right? That's that's the thing. <laughs> that's how it works. Yeah, that's kind of how it works. So yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it's kind of interesting to me. The good job at your, oh, go ahead. No, it's you, a good and good job at pointing that out. I remember actually, I I vaguely remember when you did that. I'm silly, right? Like, but what people don't say? know a lot of stuff, and so that's that's literally the problem, right? Like, take a Christian. Like, I've met so many Christians that don't know of anything else besides what they were taught, and and they believe it just with blind mm -hmm. faith right mm -hmm. which is what they want they want blind faith mm -hmm. and so then you point out other stuff they're like whoa 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 mm -hmm. right and that's that's hard for people right yeah and yeah. if you're like whoa why don't you subscribe to that um and any family that listens knows this my mother is a catholic but she was always trained by jesuits and jesuits kind of believe that logic dictates everything mm -hmm. that the reason you are a catholic is because the logic is clear that you should be a catholic mm -hmm. and you should question that and you should try to figure it out mm -hmm. that's that's why you've been given those capabilities yeah right like you're supposed to be smart and you're supposed to like question those things yeah and that makes your faith stronger when you question it and you will come up with the answers, right? Yeah. And so that's that's a kind of a thing. So and you do it well. It. Yeah. I try. <laughs> <laughs> and what were you gonna what were you gonna say? You started to say something. <clears throat> oh I was gonna laugh. We just got done with a week's vacation, right? I was in Tennessee. Mm -hmm. And I'm back at my gig today. And there are a few people who are there like, it's our second day and I already need another break. Like, I can't handle this, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, seriously? Like, you are, and I find this with a lot of things, like, it doesn't matter what the gig is. Mm -hmm. People find reasons to complain and bitch about it. And we've talked about that before, like, recognize how good you have it. <laughs> Yeah. People complaining, I'm like, you're you're like a white male in the middle class in America in the Midwest mm -hmm. who just got a paid week's vacation. Like Yeah, you, you work at DeWitt. He <laughs> got a pretty good life. He got a pretty mm -hmm. good life. Like, mm -hmm. There's a lot they were like, Yeah, I was on six I was looking at six different job things today. I'm like, you should go get one. But you're yeah. never going to find one that is as awesome as this. Mm -hmm. You know? And I That's have a buddy funny. who did that. Um, the same buddy with uh, Church of Satan. Mm -hmm. he, he's been saying that forever. Like, I'm going to go get another job. And he actually did get a job selling solar panels. Because he's very passionate, really big in that belief, mm -hmm. right? 
Yeah. And so he sells them. And he, it's funny because his spiel is that I'm not selling this to you to make your electric bill cheaper. I'm not selling it to you for this. I'm selling it to you because I believe we as humanity have to do this. Yeah. Because it's a much more powerful thing. And I don't care if you buy from me or if you buy from anybody. Just buy. Like, get the solar panels. Yeah. Like, I don't yeah. care what it takes. I'll even help you with other people. Right? Yeah. But I think since he's done that, I don't hear him bitching half as much. Good. <laughs> right? Found something he's passionate about. Well, no. What I'm saying is he realizes what corporate world or the real world oh, okay. is like. So he doesn't bitch about his other gig because mm-hmm. he's like, Oh yeah, like uh like he'll bitch about that one now. Like, yeah, they make me go to these stupid meetings, like you know, that I don't care about and rah, 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 rah. Mm-hmm. And like, <laughs> welcome the real business world, right? Yeah. That's, that's mm-hmm. why it's funny jokes all the time. Because mm-hmm. that's what they do. Like in our gig, you have a lot of autonomy and you get to do what you want to do. Yeah. That's not how it is in the real world. No. Actually, real quick, I ha- a, a good friend who I went to the soccer game with this weekend. Yeah. Go Charlotte FC. And um, he had a, a friend who had just like your friend hated corporate America, hated it, hated it. Yes. Had like a little side gig. It was okay. He was debating on starting another side gig. And I just found out they started a side gig together, have a Me Too product. So they took a product that's out there. They tweaked a little bit to make it better. I'd say uh, e-dog collar. And they are trying to sell it to dog trainers. So they have their first batch, blah, blah, blah. They're trying it out. They have another wholesale account. So uh, they're going to hopefully get it this week. But he was talking about how much happier this guy is because this guy hated, hated corporate America. And now he's, he's doing his own stuff. He's got all the stuff in his garage. He's the one shipping, printing orders, and and I can remember that. I can remember starting out, and you're doing all that stuff. And I was super excited, but more for my, I don't know his friend as well. We've shot some disc golf and played some games. But my buddy, you know, they're partners, and I'm super excited for him. Yeah, well, and that's, it's kind of one of the things, like, when you're working, there's a reason they have to pay you to work. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Like, I always tell, like, my kiddos, they're like, you know, I just want to love my job. I'm like, if you love your job, they wouldn't have to pay you to do your job. Mm-hmm. Right? There's going to be parts you don't like and parts you hate. Right? Yeah. But sometimes working for yourself is the best way, right? Yeah. Sometimes it's the worst way, right? There's a lot mm-hmm. more stress because it's all on you. Like if you yeah. F up, it's on you. Yep. If I Very F true. up, it's somebody else's fault. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can pass that buck right on up. Uh-huh. And it doesn't come back to you. If you tell kids not to buy Bitcoin when it's a penny, that's that's on them. <laughs> that's on them. I'm I'm sitting there laughing. They listen to kids talk about trading stock and buying stock, and they're like going on and on. And I'm just like, well, that's awesome. They never ask. They never ask. Them. Mm-hmm. So I never said anything. Because <laughs> <laughs> well, they can do that now. Oh, go ahead. Oh, yeah, yeah. They do that mm-hmm. all the time. Um, Listeners, we are running out of time. So thank you for staying with us. We hope you enjoyed the episode. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, it was fun recording for you and a little bit rambly, but I loved it. So thanks for being with us. You going to say anything? No, I agree. thousand percent. I was waiting for your tagline. I interrupted the last time. So I was just waiting. Sitting here patiently. Ballbuster signing off. Kill the dragon, Jerry. Love you all.